き、き、帰宅部。What's up, everyone? I need to get a haircut. Key to Sean here. So, welcome to another Key to Cast video. I believe this is episode four. I think I, I, I'm pretty sure it's episode four. So, in this episode, we're gonna be focusing on Fate Grand Order. Like always, I, I really need to start talking about some other stuff in Key to Cast, but we're gonna be talking about Fate Grand Order and uh, specifically the global version. So let me get this out first. So I was actually contacted by Aniplex of America and when I saw the email, I was like, whoa, they're actually contacting me. This is actually kind of surprising. And uh, honestly, I was very scared to open it up. I thought they were gonna tell me to stop doing videos for FGO and stuff like that. But uh, obviously, um, I was fortunate not to get in any trouble from Aniplex of USA. And um, basically, they asked me to talk about a few things. And I was like, yeah, sure, of course. I mean, anything to support FGO. So we're going to be talking about a couple things for the global version of Fate Grand Order. So I'm pretty sure you guys know this already because the global version is currently doing a campaign on it until February 13th. But the global version of Fate Grand Order has surpassed 5 million downloads, which is a crazy achievement. Congratulations to the global version for 5 million downloads. Initially, the global version was only released in US and Canada, both on Android and iOS, but has since expanded to more countries, Australia, Singapore, Philippines, and Vietnam. So that means right now, FGO is currently in 10 different regions and has 5 different languages. That's crazy. Uh, congratulations to the global version of Fate Grand Order and FGO in general. Like, if it wasn't for you masters out there, this game would not just be as big as it is right now but uh fgo fans you guys are awesome and uh i gotta thank you guys on the bottom of my heart make for making fgo just an awesome game because the community is just really awesome like you guys in my discord channel as well as my channel on youtube as well as twitter etc the facebook groups like you guys are just really awesome and um I, I i can't thank you guys enough for making fgo one of the best games to play today so let's go ahead and talk about the 5 million download campaign a little bit. So it's a 5 part campaign. Part 1 are login bonuses, 5 million QP, 50,000 friend points, EXP cards, foe cards, golden fruits, mana prisons, and of course summon tickets. Part 2, treasure value, AP cost is half. And then you also have part 3, times 2 chance of super and great success when it comes to EXP to level up your servants. And part 4, long and bonus streak update. It will change from evil bones to voids. And of course you'll get some quartz and some EXP as well as some summon tickets. And then part 5, a new mystic code called Royal Brand, which you can exchange for in the Rare Prism Shop. And then last but not least, you gotta talk about Leonardo da Vinci pickup summon. The last time she appeared was last year, July 2018. So we don't know when the next time she'll get a rate up. So definitely rule for her now if you want her. But uh, yeah, that's pretty crazy that, uh, you know, we're at 5 million downloads already in the global version. But again, congratulations to the global version for 5 million downloads. So I'm pretty sure you guys know this already as well because it was pretty big in the community of FGO, Facebook, Twitter, etc, Reddit. But uh, if you don't, it's a pretty big deal. According to a website called Sensor Tower, Fate Grand Order has placed in the top 10 for overall revenue in December 2018 worldwide. So in the App Store, it was number 5, Android, it was number 2, and overall, it was number 3. And not only that, FGO was actually the most tweeted game in 2018, beating out games like Fortnite, Super Smash Bros., Final Fantasy, and so much more. So 2018 was a pretty crazy year for Fate Grand Order, and I'm sure it's going to get even crazier in the future. Also this month, Fate Grand Order will be holding its first stop of the Fate Grand Order USA Tour in Los Angeles on February 23rd and the 24th. I believe tickets are still available right now, so get them while you can. So there's going to be some attractions at this event as well. There's going to be a Noble Phantasm display area. There's going to be a photo op area. There's going to be a Fate Grand Order VR experience. There's also going to be a memorial message wall where you can actually write a message to the staff of FGO to say thank you. I actually saw all these stuff at the uh, third year anniversary last year for FGO JP. And it seems like it is the same stuff that they presented at 
the anniversary, but according to the email from Aniplex that I got, they said that there's going to be some never before seen exhibits, which I'm assuming it's going to be exclusive to the USA tour, so I'm actually really excited to check those out. So there's also going to be some stages there, like for example, the Challenge Quest Battle Zone, where you can actually show off your skills, show everyone that, hey, yo, I'm the best FGO player out there. There's also going to be a Kigurimi greeting stage where you can actually check out the, uh, the mascot characters, the cute mascot characters that you guys always see on the internet. And then there's also going to be a cosplay gathering stage. So all these cosplayers are going to be there as well. And of course, there's also going to be a merchandise location so you can buy some US a tour goods as well but what's also really cool is that they're gonna bring some guests from japan and uh, they're basically voice actors from the game so tsuruoka satoshi san who is the voice actor of arash spartacus gilda reyes and caligula will be there on the february on the first day february 23rd and then ueda kana san is going to be there uh tosaka ring and ishtar and fgo she's going to be there on the second day february 24th and the creative producer of fgo shiokawa yosuke san is going to be there as well so I'm obviously going to be there if you see me, come and say hi, I don't bite. So yeah, um, I'll be really, really happy if you guys say hi, so uh, hope to see you guys there. Also starting tomorrow is going to be the Valentine's event in the global version of Fate Grand Order. This year brings in the dangerous but cute, mysterious Heroine X Alter Berserker. She's going to be limited, so definitely pick her up while you can because we don't know when the next time she's going to come back. But that's basically about it. Thanks to Aniplex USA for letting me make this video, and I'm excited to see what you guys do next for the global version of FGO. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys at the FGO USA Tour event in LA, and I'll see you guys also in the next one. Laters!